no, 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 you did it. No. 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 The baby. The baby. You done fucked up now. You know that, don't you? You done fucked up now. You know what you said was absolutely the most disgusting, horrible, ignorant thing that an individual could possibly say, and especially in the year 2021. Oh, you done fucked up now. Your sponsors are going to abandon you, as they should. You have made a mockery out of uh, ignorance, basically, with your face on it. Uh, young young man, let me let me let me holler at you. <laughs> let me holler at you. Let me let you know something. The youngest AIDS case I know, I don't know about you, but the youngest AIDS case I know was a seven month old baby. Uh, I know a baby four years old that had HIV. That had has HIV. You think he was out in the parking lot sucking dick? You think the baby was in the parking lot sucking dick and that he nasty? <sighs> what about the seven month old? Who? What do you think? What do you think they was doing? How, how, what? What is your problem? Do you know how offensive? All jokes aside now, do you know how ignorant and offensive what you said was? And why would you say that? Um, what happened to you? I'm not going to ask you what's wrong with you. I'm going to ask you what happened to you. Because as I said before, uh, all we are required to do for one another is to love one another. And that crap you, that came spewed out of your mouth was not only ignorant, it was full of hatred. It was full of hatred. And there's even that's not even an excuse I can find to give your crazy self to even for saying something like that. Why would you come out and attack people in that manner? HIV people, and if you're gay and you're that, and you're nasty because you ain't talking about that, then you double down on the craziness. I ain't talking to y'all because my fans know. My fans know they ain't all nasty and shit. You know, they ain't out in the park. That was so ignorant. And you very ignorant. You are very hurtful. You are deliberately hurtful. And it's uncalled for. And that's why we can't get ahead as a race. That's why we can't get ahead as a people. Because we are some of the most hateful people. When you really want to break it down, we talk about how people hate on us, but we are some of the most hatefulest people. I don't know if it's because of the pain that was inflicted upon us, if it was because of the, the wickedness and the dealings and the evilness that was projected upon us, that we're now we projected it back to our own. But I'm going to tell you something. We are the most homophobic, evilest people. On the face of the earth, we have become that. And if we don't stop that as being the leader and being the founders and being the, 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 the mother and father of all civilizations, if we don't stop that, we ain't never going to do nothing. We ain't never going to have nothing. We ain't never going to be nothing. We ain't never going to do nothing. Oh, individually, we may do a few things, but collectively we can't because it's too much hatred. Too much hatred, too much focus on what shouldn't even be. The focus should not be on uh, the young, uh, 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 all you nasty MFs that got HIV and all. That's not a focus. That's a negative connotation. It's a hatred di driven statement. And you, young man, should be ashamed of your damn self. And I had to say it. I had to say it. Somebody got to say it to you. 
Because obviously you, you ain't never been taught no damn manners to come out and double down and say shit like that about people. Anyway, let me stop. I want to give a shout out to Lamar Campbell. What's up? <laughs> Hi, Kevin Ho, Therese and Megan. I want to um, thank y'all. What about Poochie Lou? Thank you for listening and being out there. And DJ Jazz Double Bass. Yeah. Thank y'all for listening. I appreciate you being out there. And don't be ignorant. I had to make this statement because somebody older need to tell you something. Sometimes my, my grandma used to tell me. If you ain't got nothing good to say, sometimes it's best not to say nothing because I don't even know what brought that on. But I am going to make it clear what I'm saying to you, the baby. What happened to you? What will make you say something like that? What happened? Talk to the people. All right, y'all. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see you in the next video.